morning, good morning guys and ladies. How are you all doing this fine Sunday morning? Or whenever you watch this video. I'm doing pretty good myself. We are now uh, getting back on the road finally. You know, when I first got to the yard here, they gave me one trailer number and went and picked it up and did my uh, pre-trip inspection and I noticed uh, one of the marker lights here on the top here on the driver's side wasn't working so uh, went and took it into the shop there luckily they had somebody working there and uh, they tried to fix it and they figured it might be some kind of wire inside the wall somewhere so they uh, went and talked to dispatch and they gave me a different trailer number now so had to go drop that trailer because you know it's only one guy working on the weekend right so he's busy enough at fixing everything else right and so uh, luckily we had another empty in the yard so just grabbed another empty and uh, here we are finally getting back on the road yep and they are expecting to get a snowfall uh, up here they had a snowfall warning for tonight here in town so I want to get out of town ASAP before that snowstorm hits right that's the plan anyways Speed warning. oh shut up RJ I know it's 80 up here and he says it's 70 right so he thinks I'm speeding <laughs> anyways let's get on down the road and uh, get to Thunder Bay Ontario before it's too late before we get the snowstorm we'll be picking up a uh, load there tomorrow that's gonna be fun uh, it's gonna be a life load over there tomorrow which that's never too much fun especially on a Monday that could take a couple of hours to get loaded over there so I know what to expect right but whatever that's just how it goes We'll do that and then uh, we're heading to New York yeah it's gonna be a nice trip in all reality I, I think it's gonna be pretty decent just a matter of you know getting the load tomorrow and getting down the road right we'll be traveling through Canada all the way up to uh, well I think on the highway 87 I 87 is where we cross into the States so yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be in Canada for a few days, but that's okay too. I don't mind. All right, guys, we have now entered Ontario a little bit, and uh, we are seeing some sort of accident up here. Looks like a tractor trailer had uh, lost control up here or something. Who knows what? But he's laying uh, on the side over here, on the right here in the ditch. Oh, look at that. That's uh, Light Speed, I think it's called, that company. They got a big record out here and trying to clean up the accident, I guess. Or whatever it's called. We call it an accident, but is it really an accident? Who knows, right? It could be. Could not be, right? Anyhow, we've made it into Ontario and... Uh, Roads are still good, good up here. They're supposed to be getting a snowstorm later tonight, but I'm trying to stay ahead of it, right? Because it's behind me. It usually uh, develops somewhere in the west and it moves east, right? So I'm trying to stay ahead of it, which that's fine, but you know, today is Sunday again, so I'm thinking about doing another live show tonight thinking about waiting till I get to uh, Thunder Bay because I'll have a little bit of better internet connection up there usually so I should be all right go in there and do a live show over there that's kind of the plan anyways in the meanwhile we're gonna hammer down and get down to Thunder Bay we got 376 kilometers to go we got 1.30 in the afternoon right now, so that'll be about four hours worth of driving, so let's say 2.30, 3, 4, 5, probably 5.30 central time I should be in the area. 
maybe six o'clock we'll see but yeah we'll get reloaded tomorrow and head to New York we'll be going through Quebec guys I was looking at it earlier to see exactly where I'll be uh, traveling and I'll be going up to Montreal and then take the highway 15 south to the border and right there by uh, Montreal that's where I'll be crossing the border into New York yeah that should be interesting but anyhow let's continue on cruising along here I had to make me a little bit of a pit stop and use the man's room and so I figured you know what let me go ahead and make me a couple of sandwiches so that's exactly uh, what we ended up doing and then I uh, realized I haven't uh, haven't updated my website either right so I quickly went ahead and did that as well so now my website is up to date and I saw a cop just pull into uh, that gas station over there almost Continue looked like he uh, for 202 kilometers. he pulled somebody over or something that's what it looked like uh, I guess so yeah Continue he's talking to them now that's a lady kilometers. actually wow okay Anyways, yeah, we got a little ways to go yet. We got 200, uh, 246 kilometers to go. <clears throat> and the sun is starting to disappear on us again. Well, we never really saw the sun to begin with today, but the daylight is basically disappearing on us is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, we are currently in Ignis, Ontario. We used to have a nice decent truck stop just down the road here and then uh, they closed it up. They really did. It used to be a really nice, uh, fairly decent sized truck stop. I mean it wasn't a paved parking lot but at least it had a restaurant in it and everything. Pretty good breakfast. I liked stopping in there, right? And going in and having me breakfast or whatever or staying in there for the night but no, you can't do that anymore. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Anyways. Other than that, we're just trying to get down to uh, Thunder Bay before the snowstorm hits here. I'm kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to stay at that uh, Patro or if I'm going to... Uh, or if I'm going to go into town up to the Husky there. I'm kind of thinking if I risk it, go up to the Husky, it's going to be full. But we'll check it later and see see what it looks like. But for right now, that's about all I got. Now right here, this is where the uh, truck stop used to be. And it looks like they even torn down the building now. I guess the building was getting too old or whatever. And they just, I guess, had to close shop or whatever. Or they weren't profitable anymore or whatever the reason was. It, they closed their down. I have now made it down to Thunder Bay, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's been a bit of a shorter video again, but <clears throat> I don't know. Today was just, I didn't really feel like making much of a video today, I guess. That's probably why, but anyways, in the evening here, we uh, finished doing our little live show here and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get me a good night's sleep. I'm really worried about the snowstorm that's supposed to hit here overnight. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed it ain't going to be too terribly bad. But uh, hey, let's find out, right? No, let's not worry about it too much until it actually happens, right? And if we get stuck here, we're stuck here, right? It's just as simple as that goes. We got food in the truck. We can cook us a meal here if we need to. So... We're good in that department. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.